moment life's about It's quiet now, all I hear is Hey, what is going on guys? Orza here. I just wanted to make a quick breakdown of how I have my controller set up. I am using a Scuf Vantage on PC. Um, and many of you know that the Scuf Vantage does not work on PC and you have to emulate it as an Xbox 360 controller and this is a workaround for that as well as to have put custom keyboard binds as controller buttons. This does not work on console. Sorry for any of you that uh, clicked on this video. I kind of moved to PC for some various reasons as well as one being the like there's more support so sorry if you're on console and you're trying to do this this isn't going to work hopefully in the future something will work out for you anyways what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure you have steam normally what you would do in your steam library is you would add a game that's like if you're going to add fortnite to this but you're not going to do that you're going to get a program called glow sc and what this is is this global steam controller and usually with with steam controller you can play a lot of third-party games with the steam controller through steam but not all of them work and so this is like a global steam controller setup just I don't know it, it, it works so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to add uh, your fortnite directory or sorry your fortnite launcher to this and you're gonna save and then add to steam and it's gonna create a steam controller sorry a steam shortcut and then in the shortcut you'll be able to configure your controller I'll get to that in a second let me go ahead and launch my game really quick uh, you're gonna, gonna want to do this all from big picture for some reason it doesn't entirely work if you don't do it from big picture by the way this isn't set in stone like this definitely has some issues that I'm trying to, to figure out like right now and I still haven't figured out what I'm gonna do about this yet but right now I'm currently have my inventory set on my mouse and it's 100% not ideal to uh, move my hand off my controller to my mouse to move my inventory so I'm gonna figure out something for that but like keep in mind that, that this is I don't know it is very good anyway so I'll kind of give you a run through like the Vantage controller for some reason does not just output from this so you have to like simulate with glow SC you have to simulate a PS4 controller the touchpad is pretty cool you can actually like split the touchpad into two buttons if you want but uh, currently how I have it set up is like if, if I go to my uh, cross button or A button here, when I regularly press it, it's a 2 on my keyboard, which is a weapon slot. And then when I long press it, it's A button. So that's my pickaxe. Don't ask me why I have cross as my pickaxe. Well, I'll explain really quick. I have cross as my pickaxe and triangle as crouch because I feel like it's easier to claw onto triangle than it is to claw onto cross. There's some, there's some really cool stuff you can do with this. Example here, like on your actual joystick, you can set up dead zones so you can adjust how the dead zones behave a little bit I haven't played around too much with that yet the coolest thing that I've that I found and this is this is super dope is you can create a custom curve I know some of you Xbox players can do that I'm not entirely sure if you can do that on PC so if you can do that on PC please comment and let me know that like if you're playing on PC with a elite controller I want to know if you can if you can curve your analog sticks because that is a really cool feature and it's really helpful for like precise aim as well as being able to flick shot so yeah my fortnite is almost loaded let me give you a quick example of why keybinds are still really important on a controller i know we have builder pro but this is kind of like essential to why they're they're so good i still have like weapon cycle but <clears throat> an issue that i i found was there's be many times you know where like i shoot at somebody right and then i'm building and I shoot at them and you know swap weapons and then go for an edit play right and I have a p90 out which is really unfortunate basically you can shoot and swap weapons like that and then say you go for that edit play and then I I just toggle straight to my shotgun or example of if I want to get to my sniper really quick I have my start button set as my third weapon slot sorry um, I haven't played Fortnite in a couple days. I have my my start button, or yeah, my start button set as my third weapon slot, so that's easy to swap to. But you can also just press start and then R1. So say you know I'm on my AR and I want to go straight to my sniper, I literally just tap and tap. So it's like an instant toggle basically. And if I want to go to you know my uh, AR, I have that set as a paddle. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do my inventory yet. I hold for uh for my pickaxe which is probably your your most like least used thing 
I, I guess I already went over the sensitivity like curves and some other cool stuff. Like I said, this isn't perfect, but if you're using Advantage on PC, it's already one step ahead of simulating an Xbox 360 controller. I guess that's about all I have for you guys. If you guys are looking for some additional programs to help with Fortnite, this program right here, well, if I can drag it over, this program right here, Outfox. It uh, creates like a VPN session for Fortnite. It actually brought my Fortnite ping down by about 10 milliseconds, which is pretty cool considering I already have DNS and ported connection. I don't know how the hell it did it, but props to them. I'm currently on a free trial. I will probably end up buying this because it's super dope. Also, if you want to boost your system for a little bit higher FPS, Razer Cortex will turn off processes and enable full CPU, etc. for different game applications. Definitely check both those out. It'll help you optimize your net and your FPS. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today, and I'm out! Wait in